Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of The King Chase. Today I have a game Alexander Kotov against Igor Bondarevsky played in Leningrad 1936. And maybe you remember a couple episodes back we had a beautiful King Chase by Kotov where he's playing with the black piece against Yuri Averbach. But this time Kotov is on the wrong side of the board and he's the victim and here you can see his king on e3 doesn't look good. But how exactly is Black continuing his attack from here? That's the question and that's the question for you to solve. So right now please stop the video and try to figure it out and see if you can come up with the solution. Okay, whenever you're ready go ahead and I'll show you what happened. Okay, first move is f4 check. This forces white to take on f4 and by distracting the knight this square on f2 opened up. King d3, but what now? Well, black had seen it all along and he now sacrificed his queen on d4 and now took on, oh excuse me, he didn't take on e5, of course he didn't, because it's important to put the bishop on c5 to cover this square as well. And then he did it the other way around. Now he took on e5 and there it is, checkmate. The three pieces of black take away all the squares. Very nice. So this time Kotov was the victim of a king chase. Well, that's fine too. He probably still liked how the game finished here. Sometimes if you lose, and at least you lose in style, you know, you lose because of a great combination of your opponent, it's not as bad. You still can enjoy the beauty of chess. All right, I hope you enjoyed this example, and then I'll see you next time. Bye.